So, it's Saturday, uh, 29th, 30th, I don't remember. <laughs> it's just been one of those days. Nothing seems to be going the way I wanted it to, so I decided it's time to get out on the bike. Uh, we have a two-day uh, rest from the heat. It's like 75, 76 right now. Humidity is kind of high, but not bad. So, you know, it seemed like a good time to go out for a ride, even though I only have about an hour, and then i got to go get my daughter, so... See, uh, Moto Nut, that's how you do it, man. So one of the reasons uh, I, I like bikes so much, and it's, uh, I do, I, but my love for bikes are about as, you know, are equal to um, uh, my love for cars. They're about the same. They really are. Um, but bikes kind of came into being because uh, that's a nice old bike uh, because my uh, it, w it was cars and bikes were the, the only things that my dad my brother and I had in common it was like the one thing that unified us if, if we were working on either of those two things we could work together no problem um, if we were working on you know uh, a project that uh, had to do with woodworking for example you know, it was like oil and water a lot of the times so that's one of the reasons I you know I kind of gravitate towards the bike um, uh, you know the uh, both my dad and my brother, my younger brother, um, have passed away now. And uh, that's why if you ever see my gas tank, I, I have their initials on the gas tank. Because for all the time that we spent together doing stuff like this when we were growing up, we, n we never got to ride together. You know, it just never happened. For, you know, whatever various reason. It was just one of those things where, oh yeah, we, we, we keep meaning to do it, but, you know. Uh, I think I'm going to go down here and see how my brother-in-law's house is doing. He had a tree branch go through the front yard, uh, window. Uh, and the flying glass uh, actually hit one of the dogs. Uh, so he had to have some stitches and it. It, it came like, real close to his eye. But... Uh, Luckily, he was fine. In fact, when we got there, he was just so happy to see people. He was—he just wanted to play. <laughs> he just wanted to play. It's like, dude, you're injured. He, he didn't care. Uh, he's a pit bull mastiff mix, if you can believe that. Jeez. Yeah, he's still got the block in there, so they haven't fixed the window yet. I have no idea what the speed limit is through here. Forty-five. There you go. Well, it's going to be forty-five. Apparently, I'm going slow. <laughs> oh, there you go, Mister. I'm in a hurry. It's all right. He can go around all those other people. That was my fault. I should have been going faster. I just didn't know what the speed limit was. I don't go down this road very often. In fact. Hardly ever. I think I've been down this road maybe two times in my life, so. I don't know why they don't have a speed limit sign up, but they didn't. Yeah, I'm following the uh, river, just like transcendental. <laughs> well, it's a creek, but yeah. It's called Fox River. It's, it's really only a river in other areas here. It's more of a creek. But it goes from well, a couple hours north of here to a couple hours south. So we're just kind of like in the middle. Let's do a little 
exploring down here. I know back when uh, this was a, a place that had a lot of business, there was a Gander Mountain headquarters was here and a number of other uh, companies that had a lot of peep employees. This is where they would all come at lunchtime and have lunch and smoke cigarettes and whatnot. Now there's just not very many people here, but this is Saturday, so I wouldn't expect there to be, I guess. As you might imagine, there's a few other things that happen here. But we won't talk about those right now. Ooh. This is a little bumpy for sure. Getting out of here is going to be a little fun because I can't see cars. Okay. I think after this one, yeah. <laughs> 